Hi Doris, welcome to your reading. How are you doing? I hope everything is fine for you. Now let's start. I will divide this reading, this love reading, in two parts. The first part will be about if you are single and you're just looking for a new connection. You're not thinking about the past person. And the second part, I will talk about you and the person that is on your mind. So let's start. Starting with the first part of the reading, that is, if you are single and you are looking for a new connection. Let's see about the current energies. I think that you have been around so much toxicity and there's this tendency to fear jumping into a connection because out of some uh, fears and insecurities that are just being uh, brought to you by the past, You think too much, you think too much and you overanalyze and think what if this is not the right connection, if this person is the same as this last one that didn't work out. The tower moment, yes, uh, there's some crisis that have happened here and everything has changed in how you view the perspective of love or how optimistic are you about it in general. You want more patience, more balance and harmony into your connection. Now I have Capricorn, Scorpio, Sagittarius, air signs as well. Let's see about your next connection. Who is this person? Okay, you will be in a relationship. If you are single and looking for a new connection, you will celebrate the love soon. You will be with somebody. Some of you will be moving in together. But you need to date, you, you need to keep your options open. Now, this will come with some confusion in the beginning, but the end is very good. Not very good, extremely good. With a two of cups. I do think that this connection you will have with this special someone will be so intensive. Because it is a soulmate connection. Your best friend, your lover. Why the Seven of Cups? You will be a bit confused in the beginning because you are not quite sure about the maturity of this person. How serious or how sincere are they with you? Okay, this was the first part of the reading. Now, jumping to the second part that is you and the person that is on your mind. I want to start with what is affecting you in your subconscious at this moment. You have so love, love and desire, but mostly feelings for this person that you think a lot about uh, giving this another chance, another opportunity, but you don't want that with the same challenges of the past. You want them to change for the better. And the main reason why it happened or what was the main challenge is that this person was keeping their options open, they were not quite focused only in you, and they may have given this energy of going back and forth, showing affection, then they were off, breakups, coming back, reunion, something like that. It was not working since the first breakup, and it was given too many chances, I think. How do you view the situation? You think they will continue to be very upset and cold and detached with you. You don't uh, expect them to be warmer or more charming towards you. And what you are hoping for and your focus is to celebrate the love, to be in a harmonious, happy, stable relationship. And what you fear is that uh, nothing may last a long time. And when you get expectations, that's the moment when you um, feel discouraged. That is your fear fear of not a long-term happy relationship. Now let's see about the current energies or any advice for you. 
Five of Swords, stay away from unnecessary conflicts, and especially people that play games. There may be desire and intensity and passion into a connection, but is it worth it with the conflicts and disagreements? I, I do think no, but it's your choice. Just be aware of this. These are your current energies, so possibly a new beginning here is happening for you. But some conflicts are on the horizon if you are not too careful and if you are just pass uh, from your vision all those problems and not talk through them. Now let's see about this person that is on your mind. Let's see about their energies. Their current energies. Yes, they are acting cold. They are upset with you. Yes, very upset, in fact. They want to communicate, but this communication is mostly motivated by some desire that they have still there for you. It is not the biggest, but uh, it is there. And they want to talk. They want to talk their truth. They want to hear your truth as well. I do think this person is just keeping a big mask and uh, they are very upset with you. That's why they are acting angry, but it's not that they don't have feelings. They do have feelings, but they are masking those feelings. They want to communicate not only because they want to hear your truth. It is because they think a lot about you and some days it is non-stop. Everything reminds you, of them of you. And that's why they want to initiate the conversation. Even a friendly communication would be uh, okay for them. They c can't make up a decision. They are waiting for your attention, in fact. And because you haven't shown attention to them, they have felt so confused. And that's why they have kept this distance. Now, I will continue this reading and extend it with more details about this person that is on your mind and your energies as, as well towards them. So, if this reading resonated, the extended video is in the description box below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next reading and bye for now.